I'm just going to ask you, tell me about the case. Tell me about what happened. Yeah. So as you heard, um, this case really affected the entire team. Um, so 28-year-old um, guy driving home to his wife who was pregnant with their first child. Um, with all the rain, uh, another driver accidentally got onto the exit ramp um, and hit our patient uh, in a head-on collision. Um, EMS brought him uh, to the emergency room. Uh, we resuscitated him there. And it seemed like when we got him to the ICU that there was a fighting chance. But just a few hours later, he crashed and ended up dying. Wow. It's always so sad and tragic when someone young dies, especially accidentally like this. I understand it's hard for the whole team. How did it affect you? What, what happened with you inside? Yeah. It's, uh, it's really strange. Uh, I've been doing this a while. I feel like um, I should know how to deal with this by now. And I'm not really sure why this case is affecting me the way it's affecting me. Um, it, maybe it's because when I met his father, I sort of related to him. He's about my age, um, and I happen to have a 28-year-old son. And so I think on that level, um, I just sort of really connected with him and um, really just share in that sense of loss that he has. So. And I just keep thinking about my son. So his mother, um, she, I know she's having a difficult time, obviously. Um, she really thought that when he came up to the ICU that he was going to be just fine. Uh, and so I think it really came as a, as a huge shock to her when, when we had to tell her that, that, he, that he died. Um, she even went so far as to say, did you guys do something to him? And that was not easy to hear for us. Um, I mean, I realize that's her way of grieving, um, uh, but it's uh, it was hard to hear that. And then there's the rest of the team. Um, you know, the the nurse who was taking care of the patient, as well as dealing with the family, the rest of my team. You know, everybody makes. Um, when we do this, we make an emotional investment. Um, and when it doesn't turn out the way we want, it's uh, always that much harder. And um, I want to help the team, and I'm not sure with the way I'm feeling, I've done an adequate job of making sure they're okay. So, I believe it's so great to hear that you're so concerned about your team and you're concerned about being there for them because that really is at the, the core of the whole peer support thought process. So it's you know it's awesome to hear that one team member is so involved in thinking about what's happening with the other team members. It sounds like you, the rest of the team, did everything well and did everything right, but still things didn't turn out the way everyone would have wanted them to turn out. You mentioned your son and how this made you think about your son. Can you take me through a little bit more about that and you know what it is specifically that you know, you're carrying with you about? this case as it relates to your son? Yeah. 
as I told you, we we see hundreds of difficult cases, um, and this one I think um, hit closer to home because um, you know the patient's family and I share um, the common factor of having a 28-year-old son, um, and I think it's always the younger deaths that are harder uh, for us as a team. Um, I guess there's just something unnatural about somebody that age dying and a sense of unfairness. Um, and I think uh, about losing my son and in a case similar to this one. And when I think about it, it really just makes me want to cry. can't fully relate to what you're going through, but I just want to share that I had something somewhat similar happen to me years ago. My son's 18, and back, um, way back when, 18 years ago, there was a case, and we were trying to resuscitate a baby, and the respiratory therapist in the case was my wife, and she happened to be eight months pregnant at the time. So we weren't successful in resuscitating the baby, and so that just brought up a whole lot of things for me to think about and to deal with and to process at the time. And my son wasn't even born yet. And so I, you know, I can't even relate to what it feels like to have this type of tragic situation happen with someone who is your son's age. It really, really must be weighing on you. It really must be difficult. Yeah, John, it is. Um, no, I don't know. It's, um, it seems like we're usually supposed to just power through this and and just move forward. Um, in a sense, we've trained ourselves to be emotionally detached. Um, and that doesn't seem to, to work here. Um, I think maybe it's just okay to realize that um, it's all right to be sad for a while and grieve the loss. Um, and maybe that's, that's what's healthier.